So I'm Perla Segovia. I'm originally from Peru, South America. I've lived in the States 30 years. I moved when I was 10 to North Carolina. I've lived in Tucson for five years, which I love because it reminds me a lot of home. I'm an interdisciplinary artist, so I work with diff different mediums. My primary medium is textiles and textile techniques, and I incorporate that into my work mainly because it resonates with most of us, right? All of us are from birth to death. We use fabrics, we use textiles. So as you can see, I'm working right now with shoes in this thing right here, which eventually is gonna be a retablo. As you know, they're like portable shrines, usually very colorful, but mine are not gonna be very colorful, but they'll have uh, designs and elements to communicate what I'm trying to communicate. And they'll have inside some shoes. And these shoes are, they will be in reference to children, immigrant children that have passed away uh, while being in detention. Unfortunately, I'm making seven of them, seven shoes. The inside of them are embroidered. And this is a little girl named Jacqueline. And I incorporated migratory birds from Guatemala to the U.S. This is her family. This is her climbing trees because I, I read that she loved to climb trees. Here, let me take this out. You can see it. A lot of the problems there is because of deforestation, climate change. So this is what I do. I just incorporate several photographs of the children and try to get an idea of what they left behind. So I'm literally using a moving box to make my retablo. But it's literally a moving box that's gonna be covered with this canvas. And it's going to open like a retablo. The cacao fruits here, when they close, will be just one cacao here. They'll be against the wall, seven of them. I actually make the shoes from scratch. I take a shoe last and wrap it with tape. And then I draw on it uh, the, the sign that I want. Like, for example, I actually looked at photographs and this is a, I try to replicate the shoe that the child was wearing, the photographs that I find. Sometimes I don't find a photograph for them. So when that happens, I actually looked at photographs of my own children and used them as reference. Art serves as a communication tool, right? To communicate ideas that you want to share with others, that you want people to make uh, be aware of. So it's a, a communication tool. My loudest voice is with my, with my work when I put it in front of somebody.